Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sebastian. And thank you guys so much for getting me so close to 3,000. I'm super excited about that. And thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for notification game. Thank you guys for commenting. Like, this has been a really good year and I wanted to talk to you guys about an update because I haven't done an update yet. Like, I've literally been out here just going for it. But I decided to do like a whole 2018 somewhat update, life update talk with you chit chat with you i'm so glad you guys responded so well to my last video about money and even just listening out here like i appreciate it because <laughs> i know you could be watching anybody else but there's some kind of way that i've connected with some of you even when you hit me up on my instagrams i'll see you when you are able to just just listen or hear what i gotta say like that is Kind of crazy sometimes to think that people actually really care, you know, or care to listen. Um, but hopefully there's some way that I tend to share something that continue to resonate with you guys. And I wanted to kind of go in depth about how 2018 has gone for me since like the year is wrapping up and I am such a sap for the new year. And New Year's Eve is legit my favorite holiday, like for real. Um, for me, it just gives me an opportunity for a fresh new start, a new look on a new year, and see things differently. End of 2017 was super hard for me, where I had to move into this new place. I got super inconsistent with my channel. I had to start a new job. I had to do so many different things to get back to where I thought I was or who I was. Like, a lot of things were going in disarray. I was in a lot of pride if i'm being so honest with you guys i was prideful in the sense of like i really wanted to make it as a full-time blogger and i felt like me going back to a job honestly was selling myself short i felt like i was just caving in you know and not giving it my all the way that i could have but i was sinking y'all like i was sinking in not having enough money if i'm being so honest like i did not have enough to sustain. Blogging is not cheap. People think it's super just easy. You wake up one day and boom. Like that's not how it works. It goes, it's a real business, a real planning process to it. I have to like just give a pat on the back that I was able to, you know, devote myself for about almost two full years to learning, blogging, understanding, and getting better with the craft, understanding the techniques behind it, understanding marketing online, just getting it all together. Now I'm in a space where I feel like stepping in 2019, I feel like I can somewhat exhale a little bit where, you know, I say all the time, like the 20s have been so hard. <laughs> like they have, but they've been full of so many nuggets and gems and lessons where I am learning some of the stuff over and over again, especially when it comes to something as pride. I believe in sharing it, you know, telling someone that we all have pride in some way or form. I remember the last time I was full of pride, I was stuck on a floor, you know? I wasn't telling people how hard things were for me at the time. And eventually until I was able to express what I was going through, I learned quickly that I wasn't alone and that people were around to help me and people were around to be there for me. And I had to let them be there for me. I know a lot of us struggle with that where, you know, you wanna hear that I can do it on my own, blase, blase, but that's not the case. Like there are people in your life for a reason and you have to understand what it feels like to receive a blessing from someone else and not to block their blessing, you know? Also, now, like, jumping ahead a little bit, stepping into 2018, I made the conscious decision that I wanted to focus on just two simple goals where I wanted to understand physical fitness and financial fitness. I started a fitness journey in the beginning of 2018. I got myself a trainer. <laughs> I honestly at the time couldn't, didn't even really could afford one. But something was telling me like in my spirit, like for real, if I wanted to gain control in my life, I thought physical fitness was gonna get me started and it was gonna spill over to other aspects in my life. I focused wholeheartedly for six months devoted to physical fitness going to the gym with a trainer, kicking my butt, getting me in shape. Hence why you saw the thumbnail with my previous photo of my before and my after. So this is me before. When I very first started in the gym, I 
at the time was 20 pounds over the weight I usually am at. And I was just not, not the greatest space. Fitness gave me serenity, it gave me focus, it gave me a lot of things that I was missing at the time. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Judge if you must. This, these are, these are the photos of how I looked, right? I know. So, <laughs> I was working out for about five days a week, five to six days a week. Um, in the beginning, I was sometimes doing seven. I was just super focused. I changed what I was eating. I was eating more veggies, eating chicken breasts, no fried food, no fast food. It was just extreme tunnel vision. I have this thing about me of when I want something, I just hone in on it. Friend, when I tell you I was there, I was all into it. Like making my meals, focusing on the right amount of protein, getting myself some Vega powder. Vega powder is a brand that I use when it comes to my, my um, smoothies in the morning. I have revamped my entire diet. Now granted, it's the holiday season, so trust me, I have had my fair share of temptations here and there, but I have some more news too, so stay tuned for that. I was just in the space where I needed a change. And I love my trainer. By the way, her name is Amber. So you can definitely check her at I am still fit on Instagram. She's super dope. She's amazing. She's such a good person. And I felt like she doesn't know what she's done for me, but she did a lot for me in a short amount of time. Because by April, this was my transformation, by the way. So my body was looking like this. <laughs> Also, I was able to like have a birthday photo shoot. I just did some things for myself that I had never done before and was so excited to start this amazing chapter in my life. So this is what I looked like again for my birthday. That was me, boo. That was me, boo. <laughs> right, I know. And I was able to travel. I was looking good for my friend's birthday trip. And like, I am ready for um, so much that is to come in this year of 2019. I'm super excited for things that are going to change. And even now, like financially, I have been able to advance. I've saved money. I've been able to just turn things around. I am in such a great space. And even with my YouTube channel, I notice subscribers, you guys are coming in every day. And I greatly appreciate you guys for that. I don't know yet what my resolutions will be for 2019, but I do know I have some ideas. I have some great things that I wanna work on, great things I wanna do. Um, but for currently this year, like I said, financially, I have every goal that I've set ahead of me, in front of me, I've stuck to, I've really taken the time to make it happen. <sighs> those little exhale that I need to do. Even when it comes now to photography, I told myself I want to get a new camera. I've upgraded now to my Canon 80D. I just, just wanted to challenge myself and to finally be here just feels really good. Now I'm in the point where I'm renovating the home, getting the house together so it can look like something. Guys, it's utter chaos still here. Like, I feel like living here, it looks like we still moved here like a month ago. I just really want to do a, a mass decluttering of this home. I really want to make this place a home. That's one of my goals for next year. Definitely, I'm going back to my trainer. A few days, I guess, after this video comes out, I will definitely be back in the gym. I want to take you guys, for real, for real, on the journey with me this time, where you're going to see the transformation from beginning to end, how my life is gonna be looking and how things are gonna go and how it's gonna work. So I'm excited. I am looking to bring this channel to another level with elevation. As you can see, I went from the gay bestie in 2017 and now here we are at I Am Sebastian. I turned 30 this year in 2019. You know, 2019 I'll be 30 years old. So it's crazy, but I'm grateful for it all. I'm grateful for every struggle. I'm grateful for everything that did not work out the way I thought it was gonna. Now I'm in the space where I just feel like I'm letting it all unfold and finding excitement in it. On top of that, I'm happy to say guys that I have a new job. Like <laughs> I'm officially now working for Pandora. So that's a big deal. I, I started the job next week. I, I am just grateful where my last job was not horrible at all. Um, but I was working in a field that really wasn't my passion, but I was doing something that was, I was feel like I was just, I was in a space where I feel like 
I was unfulfilled, but I knew deep down inside, and I know some people um, may not agree, but I felt like God was telling me like, hey, I'm gonna give you this to make, you're gonna make this much, right? And I felt like the, le the lesson was learn how to manage with less and I will bless you with more. Granted, I do not go to church. <laughs> I say it over and over, I don't. I just feel like my relationship with God is just my, my relationship with him and i do believe in the mantra and by the way you guys can adopt this too i definitely watch the secret you know i told you about the secret but anytime i've said this mantra money comes easily and frequently it somehow finds me one way or the other and i'm so grateful to now be in a space where money does come easily and frequently and in the position that i'm going to be in money comes easily and frequently so now to finally be in a company that is that has everything that i love from media to sales to marketing all of it clumped in one i am nothing short of excited <laughs> okay don't worry i'm still gonna be doing my youtube channel i'm still gonna be here with you guys and rocking with you guys we're aiming for two videos a week so i might do i'm looking to do a vlog <laughs> and a sit down video in the same week and still do my, my Instagram and stuff. I am looking to hopefully find a bomb photographer in 2019 as well that I could work with consistently and remodel my house. So I guess putting it out there into the universe, I like to have a photographer on my team um, that I work with consistently <laughs> and frequently. And I'm looking to um, still do my videos, my video content, shoot some great videos. I'm gonna do two videos a week. I'm gonna do one vlog a week and I would love to do one sit down video like this when we have a wrap up or just conversation. I hope you guys have enjoyed this year with me. I hope that you guys are able to come up with your own resolutions and if some way, somehow, one of my videos have inspired you, if anything, I will tell you now, friend, put your finances on that list okay because it ain't cute being broke <laughs> and one thing for me is like i think sometimes we get enamored with listening to the story of those who have succeeded right we always hear about the hardship they had and then boom success came and i think for most of us we don't all have that same story i think sometimes it takes progression you know we hear it's, it's a marathon like life is a marathon so you should be running the marathon don't just give up halfway i'm okay that my story is just my story i think sometimes maybe in the past maybe i have obsessed over what story i'll be sharing of how i got there but i can say now in this process like i'm telling you guys my my story as it's unfolding so as it unfolds it'll be nice and it's gonna be great to look back at these videos of where i was later in the future so yeah, so this is me then, you know? But um, I hope this guy is, this is some helpful for you. I hope this inspired you in some kind of way. I hope that you have a fabulous Happy New Year. I will be in DC with my girls. So I'll be vlogging the experience so you guys can see and enjoy too. And love you and I appreciate you. And thank you for being a part of my, my 2018. And thank you for coming into my 2019 so that we can enjoy and make more memories together. And don't be afraid to comment down below. Tell me what your resolutions are. Tell me what you guys have enjoyed. Um, tell me what you want to see, of course. You know, I love hearing your input and what you guys think and your thoughts and all that good stuff. By the way, I am going to be taking another camera course because I just want to keep getting better. So as I keep educating myself, you do something too that you can educate yourself. Do something where you feel like you couldn't do it and you did it. That's how I felt about fitness is how I felt about a lot of things but the way that I function is when I'm afraid to do something I'm more afraid of failing by, by not doing it so I just do it so I can say I did it you know so hopefully that resonates with you some way form or facet but I will see you guys next week because <laughs> it will definitely be 2019 by then and I appreciate you I love you I thank you so much for your time and I wish you a happy new year until next time, as always, love. <laughs>